It is an immersive and interactive experience that's coming to the Waikiki Aquarium. Here to tell us all about Ocean Classroom and what the program entails is Patty Miller, Educational Specialist for NOAA's Hawaiian Island Humpback Whale National Marine Sanctuary. Good morning, Patty. Good morning, and thank you for uh, having us here this morning. Of course, um, so happy to have you because this is an awesome new program. So tell us all about it. What's coming to the Waikiki Aquarium? Well, what we're offering here is a five part, um, half hour each series uh, that is really geared for teachers and parents to teach them activity, give them activities and some science content that they can then go back and do with their kids um, that teaches about different marine, um, uh, marine topics. We usually do these workshops in person and since we can't do it in person right now, we decided with the help of the aquarium that we would do this virtually. So it's kind of exciting. Very cool. And, and what distinguishes Ocean Classroom from any other online educational resource that's out there? I think one of the main differences is, is that most of the online things that are out there are geared for um, students to turn on and people to turn on and just watch and participate right there. Where this one is really giving ideas, activities, there's lesson plans that go with it. So it's teaching the teachers how to do this and then they can go back and do it with the kids. The programs will also be archived so that there are some videos and things that are in the programs that they will be able to take and show to their kids later on as they do this. Perfect, so you can continue the learning after the program as well. Correct. Wonderful, now what sort of activities or lessons are going to be taught through the new series? Um, we've got several, we've got a couple of uh, sessions that are on the humpback whales. Um, what they're all about, their biology, um, how you go about disentangling them, um, some really cool just fun facts about the whales also that nobody ever knew. Uh, we're going to talk about corals. What is a coral? What is a coral reef? Give some activities for some really fun ones for um, students to be making their own coral reefs and understanding how corals feed, what affects the corals. And then the last one is on oceanography itself. Oceanography 101. It's like where does sand come from? Why is the ocean water salty? And so answering some of those questions. So a variety of topics. That's so cool. And I love this too, because of course, many keiki are on their summer break or they're just stuck at home a lot more during this quarantine time. So keeping them entertained, but also letting them, giving them some education, but also keeping it interesting and keeping it fun. And these are really awesome topics that I think all of the keiki out there are really gonna like. So could you walk us through one of the keiki activities that they could experience? Yeah, one of these is to actually understand what a coral polyp is, what a coral is. So a coral starts out as a little soft body, which is my marshmallow here. <laughs> um, the soft body is going to be floating through the ocean and it's like a little larvae. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's going to settle onto a hard surface. So it comes down to the hard surface and I'm going to attach it to my graham cracker here is my hard surface. That is my rock. So it attaches to this rock and it glues itself down and then it starts to grow. And as it grows, it needs to cover itself with a, a, a skeleton that's going to protect it. So the skeleton, this gets better and better if you're hungry. The skeleton oh. is actually icing. <laughs> And so we're gonna put icing on the marshmallow, not a whole lot of sugar here at all in this demo, but you're gonna put icing all over this. <laughs> and this is actually, the icing represents the calcium and carbonate um, that comes from the seawater. And this produces the hard shell that we see on our corals all the time out there in the ocean. Now, we've got the hard shell. It's an animal, how does it eat? So it needs to be able to catch food that's floating through the water. So we're gonna add some tentacles to it. And those tentacles are going to be pretzels. Okay, so we're gonna add our pretzels to this. And in the actual lesson, we talk about how they feed in different ways that they catch their food and what they do. But corals at night, they come out and they use their tentacles and they catch those little things swimming through the water. But during the day, they take those tentacles in and they are able to produce their own food just like a tree does. They photosynthesize some things. So they have some cool little um, algae that grows in it. And I love the word. It is zooxanthellae. I challenge you to spell that. Zooxanthellae, little green algae. 
that grows or that is found within the coral and that coral that zooxanthellae pulls in the sunlight and creates the sugar and the food for it so guess what our zooxanthellae is is green sprinkles Sprinkles. Well, are like Christmas kind of a cake. Looking good here, doesn't I it? I love it. Yeah. And this just goes to show, you know, you're learning a lot. It's very interactive and it's things that'll keep Cakey entertained. When you pulled out the graham crackers, you had me. I'm like, sign me up. <laughs> so for those who do want to head out, when does the Ocean Classroom begin and exactly how can people access this online? Um, it can be accessed through the Waikiki Aquarium website. The first live program airs next Wednesday on the 24th. And um, like I said, they are going to be archived right after they are shown live. They will be archived. So parents and teachers can go back and reshow these parts, watch it again, show it to the kids. And the lesson plans will also be on there. Wonderful. So, so make sure you check it out again, WaikikiAquarium.com for all of the info. And we'll have all this on our website as well at K22.com. But again, every Wednesday, and this starts June 24th. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. All right. And again, make sure you log on. It's easy for, well, again, great education for the cakey.